Doncic, that low dribble. Help, Doncic! Behind the back for the highlight, Kleba! Luka Doncic! Another day, another box score watching episode. This time it's episode 9. Nine, ninth day of our box score watching series. And we had some banger games, let's talk about them. We start with the Mavs beating the Brooklyn Nets in OT as the Nets start the season one and four. <laughs> well for <coughs> for the for the Mavs, well they shot twenty of forty from the three point line, which is absolutely sensational. I mean look at look at these makes. It's just insanity. It's incredible. Luca plus twenty. He was forty one 11 and 14 and he had some crazy passes, crazy makes. Um, he was some simply sensational. Spencer in AD was not great today. And you know the ISO system works, but it's gonna be interesting to see how long you know can they actually last like this. It's I don't know, it's weird. But I mean it worked wonders today. They you know won and shot crazy enough and Luca was sensational. Tim Hardaway was really good also, Christian Wood continues, solid starter, even though he didn't shoot as much as he usually does, but they spread the ball more so around and, you know, everyone got their shots. And, I mean, there, we know what Dallas is, we'll see what their ceiling is throughout the season, but it was sensational performance by Luka. And we have the Nets. The Nets. What's the issue? Well, Ben Simmons obviously isn't what we want him to be. But I think the biggest issue is Kevin Durant. This has not been what he want, we want him to be overall impact wise. Yeah, he's getting his scoring, he's getting his stats, but he has not been as great as he was last year. And I mean, I think that's the biggest problem. Yeah, it's hard to see, say, it's weird to say, you know, 37 points is the biggest problem, you know, and the 30 plus point scorer is the biggest problem, but uh, his defense has been horrendous. Overall wise, he's not been as contributing to everything as he was last season and it just doesn't feel the same to me from what I've seen. Obviously, it doesn't mean it has to stay that way, but for now it does feel like this. Uh, Kyrie, he took 31 shots, he was he had 39. It felt like he was gonna take over the game in the fourth quarter, but then he didn't. 14-3 shot, I don't know. Uh, well, their bench also didn't help, obviously, today since they didn't play many players David Duke minus 23 that's uh, I mean uh, plus minus is a flawed style but I mean it says something even though he had 10 and 5 and well Ben as I said in the last video about the Nets I'm gonna give him more than uh, you know four, four games five games I have to see half the season if he's improving or not Overall, it feels like there are small improvements in his game but not enough and I mean I was never that high on the Nets overall Anyway, so I'm not that surprised with this start from them. Well, the Clippers lost again to the Thunder. Back-to-back -back games lost to the Thunder. And Paul George played this time. And Paul George played this time, but, uh, well, he was not good. 10.7 rebounds, 3 assists, 3 turnovers, Mia minus 25. I mean, the starters were just not that great. Reggie Jackson and Norman Pavel shot pretty well. Uh, Ivica Zubac had 12 and 18, but overall this was just a bad game for the Clippers. Uh, John Wall continues to be the brightest spot for them. 17, 4 and 6 in 20 minutes. He looks he looks great. Hopefully he can play more minutes. He can get to more minutes and hopefully Kawhi can play so they can be something. But they lack coherence right now and uh, it was just a little mess, messy to start the season. And the Thunder, as soon as I dropped Ludort from my fantasy team, he had his best game of, from, of the season, of, obviously, of course he had to. So, that sucks for me, but great for the Thunder. Aaron Wiggins, Trey Mann, Shea, Poku had his best game of the season. Well, and I mean, there's not much to say about them overall, otherwise. Just a good win for them. Golden State 2-2 two two on the season. Victories over the Lakers and the Kings. Losses to Denver and Phoenix. Steph Curry. And my Warriors beat the Heat. 123-110. Sensational performance from Steph. Uh, as he outdoors audu Jimmy Butler. And, well, Miami. What's wrong with Miami? I talk about I was not that high on them overall anyway. And, I mean, they played pretty solid today. They shot 
thirty two percent from the three point line, which was their biggest problem. They had some wide openings they missed, they took some tough three pointers they shouldn't probably have taken. Uh, Jimmy made four threes, which I don't know if we'll see four made threes for Jimmy Butler in a game in a regular season this year, unless it's against my Warriors again. 27, 8 and 6. Bam was pretty solid, but I mean, he doesn't have to take over Gene. Or not the Gene, it's, uh, that sounds weird. He, he, you know, he does not take over, oh, take over games, so 26 and 8, but it... I mean, it was a great game from him, but it just didn't have, you know, the takeover impact from star players it would have. Tyler Hero had his worst game of the season. Kyle Lowry was solid for what he is right now. Max Struz was still solid for what he is right now, but they're just not a great team to start the season. We'll see if they can turn it around and how, you know, they'll progress throughout the season. And as for my Warriors, Andrew Wiggins, 8 and 10, he's sensational. Such a great player, I love him so much. What a fucking legend he is. Draymond continues his great offensive start to the season. Kevin Looney won my bet for over on his points. Clay continues to struggle, but, well... He made some clutch shots and they forced it to him a lot. Steph was sensational, 33, 7 and 9 and, little, and it looks like he's coasting half the game. And he's letting other people, you know, be involved. So that's great to see. 5 over for James Wiseman. He was plus 2. Such a great thing to see. <laughs> he's sen sensational from the touch when he gets the ball. 7 feet from the rim, he's sensational. J. Michael Green is such a great pickup. I love him. And Jordan Poole was not bad, but... He was frustrated with this game for him. We'll see how, you know, his minutes continue to go, how the rotations continue to go. Jonathan Kuminga didn't play today. It's gonna be... I'm so intrigued. I'm so, you know, in love with what this team is and how, you know, will the minutes continue to spread out throughout the season. The last game of the day, we have the Grizzlies defeating the Kings. As the Grizzlies have another injury blow with Zaire Williams being out for four to six weeks, I think, I read. So that's not good for them. Uh, Desmond Bain, 6 of 8 from 3, 31 points. He's been sensational the last few games. And after his rough start, he's off to 46% from the 3-point line on 9 makes a 9 attempts a game, which is crazy, which is sensational. We'll see where his, you know, averages stand. But I feel like he can be 42% shooter on 9 attempts for the season. Uh, and they played great ball, they had a great team performance with Jano, you know, going off and they just played solid team-wise, their bench was sensational in this game. And Brandon Clark, who I also dropped from my fantasy, had his best game, so something to watch out is my drops in fantasy. <laughs> um, the Kings, well, the Kings, Keegan Murray looks great, uh, the Aaron Fox looks great, but their defense is bad and... When you have Sabonis and Kevin Herder on the floor a lot of times, even though, you know, Kevin Herder didn't play that much, Malik Pong took his place, their defense is just bad. And I'm not sure, um, I'm not sure, you know, having a defensive coach in Mike Brown, who's been sensational for my Warriors, for their defense, is gonna help them. And the Davion Mitchell pick just looks worse and worse every, you know, second, even though... He was great last season, his start to the season is not great, he doesn't play much minutes since they have a lot of guards. Maybe they should play him instead of Kevin Herder, I don't know. We'll see what the Kings do, but they, doesn't, they do not look good. As for what I look forward to today, I lo love, I can't wait to watch Cavalier Celtics, should be a fun game, should be a great game. Uh, Raptors Sixers could be fun, Bucks Snakes actually should be pretty fun. The Lakers play also, maybe could be fun, the Nuggets Jazz. I mean, the Jazz are good, Nuggets are supposed to be good, Pelican Suns, some, some great games today, I'll make, I will be back to cover them, uh, and I'll see you all tomorrow. tomorrow.